Hi everyone, I'd like to explain to you how PDM actually works. PDM is essentially composed of two components. That's the SQL Server and the Archive Server. The SQL Server handles all sorts of information about your files. Metadata, that's things like custom properties, revisions, and associated variables. It also handles search queries, file references, and what permissions and who has ownership of files. The Archive Server, on the other hand, is where physical files are actually stored. It also handles your login credentials. These connect to your machine via a local area network. On your machine, you'll have what's known as a local vault view. This is how you interact with the PDM system. It's also where local files are stored for opening and editing. So what happens once you actually want to open and edit a file? Let's take a look at an example. When I'm ready to open a file, the first thing that'll happen is my machine will ping the SQL Server. The SQL Server will give me all sorts of information about that file. For instance, the associated metadata and what permissions I have. If I have proper permissions, I can just open a local copy. If I don't have a local copy, PDM will automatically make a copy from the archive server to my local machine. Now what about once I want to actually start making changes to this file? Again, my machine will ping the SQL Server, and the SQL Server will take note that I have taken write permission to this file. In PDM, this is known as checking a file out. I have to check a file out if I want to write to it. Now what if someone else wants to uh, open up this file on our network? Well, other people on our network will still be able to open up the file. Again, their machine will ping the SQL Server, and the SQL Server will let them know that I have this file checked out. They'll still be able to open it up and reference it, but they can only open it in read-only mode until I've released this file. So what happens once I'm done making my changes and I'm ready to push the changes to everyone else on my network? I'll have to release this file. In PDM, this is known as checking a file in. Again, my machine will ping the SQL Server. And the SQL Server will take note that I have checked this file in, and other people with proper permissions will now be able to check the file out. Also, keep in mind that now the most up-to-date version is actually on my local machine. So PDM will automatically make a copy from my local machine to the archive server, so the archive server has the most up-to-date version, and everyone else will be able to pull that most up-to-date version. That's essentially how PDM works in a single-site environment. Let's take a look at how PDM works in a multiple-site environment. In a multiple-site environment, PDM will essentially work in the same way. There will be a few architectural differences though. Once again, there's only a single SQL server. However, this time we'll have multiple archive servers. We have a master archive server and several slave or replicated archive servers. Operations will be handled in pretty much the same way. Our local clients will ping the SQL server and the SQL server will give us information about files and handle information about files. We'll typically pull files from our local archive servers. The only major difference between PDM in a multiple site environment and single site environment is in a multiple site environment what happens when we want to pull a version and our local arch archive server does not have the most up to date version. Well in this case once again our local client will ping the SQL server and the SQL server will tell us where the most up to date version is and we'll end up pulling the most up to date version from whichever archive server has the most up to date version. That's essentially how PDM works. This is great because it's integrated into SOLIDWORKS and Windows Explorer. There's a lot built in to prevent user conflict. It works for single sites, for small groups of users, yet scales all the way up to hundreds of users and global solutions. And when working in multiple site environments, there's on-demand replication and scheduled replication for added security and convenience. Well, I hope that helped explain how PDM works.